Okay, so <clears throat> the magnetic field of various geometries from a thin uh, straight conductor of finite length would be mu naught i over 4 pi a times cosine theta 1 minus cosine theta 2. All right, that's it. But then if this thing is infinitely long, then you end up with uh, 2 because the you know cosine of theta 1, theta 1 is 0 if that thing is infinitely long, and theta 2 ends up being... Um, pi, right, or 180 degrees, and so you end up with 1 minus negative 1, so that's 2. So the geometry of a, you know, a wire of infinite length is mu naught, uh, mu naught i over 2 pi a. That would be a good one to have memorized, because we're going to see it quite a bit. For a semi-infinite conduct conductor, so you're at one end, and then the conductor goes on forever in the other direction, that's mu naught i over 4 pi a. Uh, and that would be good to remember as well, because we're going to see situations like that. You know, when would we use that? Well, if you've got, you know, a wire coming up and then taking a sharp turn, you know, you want to know the magnetic field due to this piece here, you know, if you're over here.